Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's been 4 weeks since I first started using these new skincare products that I'll be sharing <coughs> the skincare products that I'll be sharing with you. Would I recommend this for oily skin? Then please keep on watching. So today's product review will be about the Ordinary Niacin My 10% and Zinc 1% and the AHA 30% plus PHA 2% peeling solution. So first of all, I got these products from Shopee. I got this product from Closet Catharsis PH. And I got this product for 500 each. So as you can see, almost half na ako nung bottle. So ayan, you can tell na legit sila kasi may code sa ilalim. Yeah. And pareha silang 12 months shelf life. So as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup bukod sa aking onting pakilay para din makita nyo yung talagang sitwasyon ng aking face after a month of using this product. So first, let's... So first, let's talk about the Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. So, paalala lang guys, before you buy anything you want to try or put on your skin, make sure na mag-research muna kayo. And also, do not forget to have a spot test para din malaman nyo kung may masama bang reaction sa skin nyo bago nyo i-apply sa buong face nyo, okay? So, about this niacinamide, basta yan, so this product contains only kung ano yung nasa name niya. So, 10% niacinamide and zinc 1%. So, yun lang yung kanyang ingredients based dito sa kanyang box. And, ang kanyang direction is you can apply this day and night before you apply heavy creams. Okay? And also, this one is fragrance-free. So, ang claims ng product na ito ay it regulates sebum and minimizes pores, which is my main concern about my skin. So, ano nga ba yung experience ko using this product? So, it promised to regulate sebum and minimize pores. So, nung first time kung gamitin tong product na to, I noticed na kung sa lahat, madali siyang maabsorb ng skin. Pangalawa, medyo silicone yung amoy niya. And also, isa soften niya talaga yung surface ng skin mo. When it comes to regulation of sebum, while using this product, napansin ko din na hindi ako masyadong nag-oil up compared noong hindi pa ako gumagamit nito. So, I would say na meron siyang effect, pero hindi ko pa siya natatry ng yung as in on a regular day na may pasok ako sa work, ganyan, bumabiyahe ako, hindi ko siya natatry since, you know, ECQ. Pero, yeah. When it comes naman sa pag-minimize ng pores, well, using this alone, wala siyang instant blurring effect ng pores. But I would say that, yes, nakatulong siyang mag-decrease ng appearance ng aking pores. However, hindi ganun ka-visible masyado or ka-grand ka yung effect niya sa aking pores. Like, yan, nakikita niyo pa rin naman yung aking pores. Pero, really help to smoothen out. Like, pagising ko sa umaga, Alam mo yun, hindi oily yung ganto ko. Ganto ko, hindi oily. The next thing that I tried is itong HA30 BHA 2%. So this one is really famous on TikTok anywhere. So this one, ang dami nito ingredients in panay acids since this one is a peeling oil. So kailangan sa gabi mo lang siya i-apply. Yun yung prescribed medyo mahapdi siya. Tapos, may mafeel ka na on ting stinging sa balat mo after that since peeling solution nga siya. And also, dapat hindi lalagpas sa 10 minutes yung pagbabad mo sa face mo. And, lalo kong nagustuhan yung effect nitong serum na to nung tinry ko na rin to. Kasi, on the first week, I only tried tong NZ. Yan, NZ. Ito muna yung ginamit ko for the first week. So, buong week na yon ito lang ginamit ko. And then, on the second week, Nag-try na ako mag-apply nito. And also, dapat once a week lang ito. Huwag nyo nang itry na gawing araw-araw kasi manipis lang ang balat natin sa face. Baka magkaroon siya ng hindi kaaya-ayang reaction. No? Nung ginamit ko ito, mm, as in yung effect niya, nagulat ako kasi sobrang smooth. Alam parang batak na batak yung face mo. Pero hindi siya yung batak na parang nakakairita. Ganun, hindi as in ang flawless, ang smooth, ganon. Tapos kinabukasan, ganun pa din yung 
mafe-feel mo sa skin mo, sobrang smooth. So, with this, I don't actually recommend you trying out, trying this one out. If wala naman kayong major concerns sa inyong skins, like hyperpigmentation, scars, acne, or whatsoever. And also, if you want to try this product, make sure na you take precautions. And also, pag gumamit din kayo nito, kailangan sa sunscreen kayo kapag lalabas kayo ng bahay or kahit nasa loob kayo ng bahay. Since yung hangin dito sa atin sa Philippines ay you know, ang init pa rin. Yung tipong pag dumampi sa mukha mo yung hangin, ang init. Ganon. This products really made my skin glow. Since sa panahon ngayon, di ba, hindi, hindi na ako nakapagpa-facials, ganyan-ganyan. Would I recommend this for oily skin? Yes, of course. Kasi na-address niya naman talaga kung ano yung concern ko sa aking balat. So, I would highly recommend it. Pero, mag-ingat pa din sa paggamit. For its price na 500, knowing that yung product is quality product talaga from the brand, I think price is just right and yung packaging niya you're really paying for the quality. Hindi lang yung name ng brand yung binabayaran mo kundi yung product talaga nila. Will I further use it? Will I repurchase it? Of course. Nagustuhan ko talaga yung product na to. So that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoy watching this video and I hope it helped you decide whether to try it or not. Don't hesitate to suggest, comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video.